Time for a little ultrasound physics. Let's explore what are ultrasound artifacts. Ultrasound artifacts can be any of the following. Echoes or reflections that do not correspond to actual structures. Echoes that are missing in an image. Echoes in the wrong location. Echoes displaying incorrect characteristics such as the wrong size, shape, or brightness. Some artifacts in ultrasound are helpful artifacts, meaning that we can use them to help characterize things or gain clues about whether a mass is worrisome in nature. Artifacts can also hinder an ultrasound exam by obscuring tissues and or mimicking pathology in the tissue. Artifacts occur because the ultrasound machine makes assumptions about sound waves. When these assumptions fail to occur, an artifact is produced. An ultrasound machine makes seven assumptions about sound waves. Number one, sound travels in a straight line. Number two, sound travels into the tissue, encounters a structure, and travels directly back to the transducer. Number three, sound travels at a constant speed in soft tissue, 1540 meters per second. Number four, echoes arise only from structures within the main ultrasound beam. Number five, the imaging plane is thin. Number six, the amount of time it takes an echo to return to the transducer determines the depth of a structure in the body. And number seven, sound attenuates at an even rate in the tissue. Attenuation is an important factor when talking about the characteristics of sound waves. Attenuation is a reduction in the strength of a sound wave as it travels deeper and deeper into the tissue. There are five categories of artifacts in ultrasound. Category one are ultrasound beam artifacts, which are side lobes, grating lobes, beam width artifact, and slice thickness artifact. Category two are multiple echo artifacts, reverberation, comet tail, ring down, mirror image, air artifact, and speckle. Category 3, velocity error artifacts, propagation speed artifact, refraction and edge shadowing. Category 4, attenuation artifacts, which are shadowing and enhancement. And the last category is Doppler artifacts, which includes aliasing, spectral broadening, motion or flash artifact, noise, crosstalk or or mirror image artifact, color bleed, twinkle artifact, and improper Doppler angle. Our first category of ultrasound artifacts are our ultrasound beam artifacts. And these occur because ultrasound is based on the premise that echoes arise only from structures within the main ultrasound beam, and the imaging plane is thin, both laterally and elevationally. And these occur because, in reality, the imaging plane has a third dimension the elevational plane, and the beam has a variable width. Echoes can be captured from structures outside the main ultrasound beam. This is where we start to see our ultrasound beam artifacts. Types of ultrasound beam artifacts are side lobes, grating lobes, beam width artifact, and slice thickness artifact. Our next category of ultrasound artifacts are our multiple echo artifacts, and these occur because ultrasound is based on the premise that sound travels into the tissue, encounters a structure, and travels directly back to the transducer. And also, the amount of time it takes an echo to return to the transducer determines the depth of a structure in the body. In reality, however, scattering in the tissue, such as strong reflectors, can cause artifactual echoes, and strong reflectors can cause sound to bounce between the reflectors. Types of multiple echo artifacts include reverberation, Comet tail, ring down, mirror image, air artifact, and speckle. Velocity error artifacts are our next category of ultrasound artifacts. These occur because the ultrasound is based on the premise that sound always travels in a straight line and always travels at a constant speed in soft tissue, which is 1540 meters per second, the average propagation speed in soft tissue. In reality, however, sound can travel slower or faster than 1540 meters per second depending 
depending on the tissue type in the body. Also, sound doesn't always travel in a straight line. The sound can be refracted or may approach a boundary at an oblique angle. Echoes can be placed deeper or shallower on an image if the propagation speed is greater than or less than 1540 meters per second. Types of velocity error artifacts include propagation speed artifact, this is also called speed of sound artifact, refraction, and edge shadowing. Attenuation artifacts is our next category of ultrasound artifacts, and these occur based on the premise that sound attenuates at an even rate in the tissue. Attenuation is the decrease in the strength of a sound wave as it travels further and further into the tissue. In reality, sound attenuation attenuates unevenly within the tissue. It can attenuate differently within each separate structure in the tissue. Types of attenuation artifacts include enhancement and shadowing. These artifacts can both help ultrasound in that they can help characterize masses in the breast and also hinder an ultrasound, especially shadowing, in that it can obscure pathology. Our last category of ultrasound artifacts are Doppler artifacts. These occur when using color, power, or spectral Doppler. And they occur based on the premise that blood vessels always course in a straight line, blood vessels are the same width throughout, and velocity in a vessel never exceeds the Nyquist limit. The Nyquist limit is the upper limit of the Doppler shift that can be displayed. These also occur based on the premise that the Doppler angle is always exactly 60 degrees, and the patient is always stationary while Doppler is being performed. Doppler artifacts occur because, in reality, patients move, known as motion artifact. Blood vessels are curvy and torturous. Blood vessels can have narrowing within them, known as stenosis. Velocity in a vessel can exceed the Nyquist limit. It's not possible to always obtain a Doppler angle of 60 degrees and machine settings can be improperly set, resulting in artifacts. Types of Doppler artifacts are aliasing, spectral broadening, motion or flash artifact, noise, crosstalk, also known as mirror image, color bleed, twinkle artifact, and improper Doppler angle. To learn more about ultrasound artifacts, stay tuned for our next videos on Wednesdays, where I'll be releasing a series of videos on ultrasound artifacts. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next video.